Arrows, I'm Kashan and you are watching The Book Archer. So today I'm coming at y'all with my April wrap up and my May TBR. So much happened in April, honestly it felt like I read more than I actually did. I did attempt to do Vita for the month of April which was actually going really well until the hard drive on my laptop almost got full. That's basically when I scrapped that but I really did enjoy the videos I posted. I ended up posting 13 videos last month like I really can't believe that I'm really proud of those I did post the April TBR which I will leave a link to down below I had five books on that TBR and I think I ended up reading I think I ended up reading two of them and then one of them I'm currently reading right now let me go ahead and jump into the ones I did read the first book I read this month is the reader by Tracy Chi and this is book one in a book of it's a trilogy called a sea of ink and gold this follows the main character named Sephia Sephia basically lives in this fantasy world where reading and books don't exist exist. Her parents have stolen a book and they have it with them and people are after them. She's been on the run for about three years. She's been hiding that entire time but something happens like there's a turn of events that is what catapults the story to take off. In this world it was so interesting because since reading and books are banned but it's a fantasy world they basically use books and reading as their form of magic so their entire magic system in this book is tied to reading and to books so this also has multiple perspectives and this is really good for fans who like pirate books there's a certain part of the story that takes place at sea which i really enjoyed i enjoyed the whole crew the ship crew and everything like that overall i gave the book 3.75 five out of five stars I was going to give it four stars until I got to the end this is a trilogy so it was a cliffhanger but I feel like the end of the story wrapped up way too fast there was a lot built up there was a lot of anticipation and then once you get to the end of the story all the stuff that you were kind of like waiting to happen happens in like two chapters and I'm just like that's it this book is almost 500 pages so I kind of wanted a little bit more of a satisfying conclusion. I am going to continue on with the, the second book. I did like the first one enough to continue it. This book also has like all the fun stuff that you like in fantasy YA. It has all this political intrigue, there's prophecies, there is a war that's been going on, and there's a secret society. So basically like all the stuff that makes fantasy good are in this book but it's a little bit slow in the st in the beginning but the story really picks up once you get to the middle so the second book that i read this month is rich people problems by kevin kwan this is the third and final book in the crazy rich asians trilogy which i have been reading since i think last year this is the last and final book in the trilogy i was so excited to get my hands on this and read it because i really have enjoyed this trilogy i do have a few poems about this third book which I will get to for those who don't know this basically this okay so the movie only follows one storyline from this entire series these books follow this entire society of crazy rich Asians so you get to see Singapore Shanghai there are people from Thailand but there are multiple characters and multiple storylines this book really reminds me of like a soap opera and the author has said before that it's very satirical and let me tell you it really is because sometimes I'll read this book and I'll be like this is ridiculous like some of the stuff happening in this story is ridiculous but it's hilarious. I love the emphasis and the discussions that are about class and family in here. Those are two of the main issues. A lot of internal family issues and a lot of issues with class. New money and old money. What that means for sure I'm going to do a review on the entire trilogy. I will be doing that soon. The main problem that I had with this conclusion is the stuff that we are really really waiting to happen happens and then there's still a hundred pages left in the book kind of feel like kevin could have wrapped this up a hundred pages earlier and then there's like this extra extended storyline at the end and then it wraps up but it was so hard for me to stay engaged for the last hundred pages because the entire storyline of the book 
that storyline is resolved with 100 pages still left. That is my main qualm about this. If you have read the first book, I suggest continuing on and reading the entire trilogy. I loved it. But let me talk about the books that I plan on reading in the month of May. All of the books that I did not get to on my April TBR, I am reading in the month of May. So that was Overwhelmed, The Everlasting Rose, the second book in the Bells trilogy, and Defy Me, Tahira Mafi's next book in the Shatter Me trilogy. So I've already started working on those. Now these are the new books that were not on my other TBR before. I do have the audiobook of Truly Devious checked out. I don't know if y'all can see that. Let's see. I have the audiobook of Truly Devious checked out by Maureen Johnson. If you haven't seen my video where I talk about bookish buzzwords, I talk about how I love books set in boarding schools and Truly Devious is a mystery set in a boarding school. The founder of the boarding school I think like like his daughter or something was murdered in like the 30s or however many years ago and then there's a new student who comes in but something happens where somebody's trying to like recreate the murders or something I honestly have no idea when it's a mystery I just need the base premise but it sounded intriguing enough for me and I have it checked out on audiobook so I am for sure listening to that one and then of course y'all already knew Queenie was going to be on my May TBR if you haven't seen my book haul I posted a few weeks ago I'll leave a link down to that below y'all know I was so excited about this book so I'm gonna go ahead and read this I have heard a lot of different opinions on this some people absolutely loved it some people thought that it was overhyped some people thought that it was okay so I really cannot wait to read this to see what my opinions are on it if I have time to squeeze it in I'm going to try to squeeze in a non-fiction and that is going to be grit the power of passion and perseverance and this book basically discusses how success has more to do with hard work and grit and work ethic than it just does talent alone it has a lot of different stories of people who basically just worked hard to get to the successful place they wanted to be and it really dives into how to build work, work ethic, how habits really affect you, just like all kind of stuff. I think self-development, y'all know I like to read one of these a month. Those are all of the books that are on my TBR and all the books I've read in April. What are y'all reading right now? Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram at The Book Archer. I'll see you guys in my next video.